Hey guys, back up on my pad here. Guys, it's been six weeks since I made a batch of compost tea using Mexican sunflower, some garden weeds, and a little chicken manure. Guys, compost and fertilizers are getting just so expensive. So I decided to make my own compost tea. Compost tea is really great for the garden. Not only does it improve the soil health, but it improves the soil structure. It improves the nutrition of the soil and it helps the soil to retain more moisture. It just makes the soil overall healthier. Healthier soil means more productive plants and who doesn't want that? So guys, I've had this fermented for six weeks now and let's look and see what it looks like and I'm going to show you how to use it. All right. Woo, guys, look at that. That was clear water just a few weeks ago. Ooh, very strong smell but that's all good guys that just means it is um percolating and fermenting and feeding the soil so the way you dilute this first of all what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put it in another container to make it easy for me to um to, to mix there we go i poured it all out and you can see guys remember if you guys remember when i filled this up when I originally did the compost tea, I had green material all the way to the top. I had my Mexican sunflower, I had a ton of weeds, I had seriously, and I had some chicken manure. Um, well, chicken straw with a little bit of chicken poop in it. And guys, it completely went down to this. That means all that nutrition is now in the liquid. So this is very, very potent, very, very strong liquid. When I initially poured it in, it was bubbling. The whole thing was bubbling, guys. It's just full of life. So here's how um, I'm going to use it. Remember now, it's six weeks. So I'm going to do one part of this, the six parts water. Um, the easy way to do it is if you have like a small plastic container that you don't mind using just for the garden, you can fill the co plastic container with this liquid, put it in um, here, and then fill six of this plastic container with water that way you can dilute it six times since it's six weeks fermented um, for now i'm just going to estimate um one sixth i'm going to put some in here and then just add some water to it i have some seedlings that i'm going to be that i'm going to be watering so i'm not going to be too exact of course if you're watering more established plants like like with a mango tree or papayas or any of those established plants that I have in my garden. If you're doing something more established, you can, you know, dilute it less. You can use four to one or even three to one. Three parts of water to one part. Composty. All right, so let's see how much we have here. Yeah, I'd say this is one six. So I'm going to fill this up with water. Then I'm going to go ahead and um, water my plants and you guys know how to water plants. I won't show you that. Well, actually, let me show you because when you water in any plants You always water al along the drip line not directly on the trunk. So let me show you All right, so I fill this up with water and When you're watering the plants, you don't have to go directly against the plant. You can water around it Especially when you're doing peppers, you're doing herbs you don't want to put this, remember this is like compost tea, you don't want to put it directly on your herb. You want to put it around the pepper plant, around the soil, along the drip line. So that means it doesn't have to be directly um, against the trunk, it can be around it. So like, let's look at this black pepper plant. I'm not going directly on it. This pepper plant, I'm going around it. Alright, so that's it guys. I'm going to go ahead and probably break up my garden and like I'll do one section at a time it's gonna be a lot <laughs> to go through all these plants but I want to give everything a good drink um, I didn't really do a lot of fertilizing this summer I, I barely did any fertilizing I just wanted to see the plants do their thing some things did extremely well some things I know would have done a lot better like for instance my passion fruit here it's just it's still blossoming and it's just it's still setting fruit um saw some fruit on here like you see here the blossoms are still becoming fruit there's a whole lot of blossoms on here guys so i'm gonna give this one a drink um 
I think it needs some extra help to get these blossoms to hold. It's covered in blossoms, still very green, very lush, so it had a lot of growth, but needs a little help with, in the blossoming department. Anyway, oh, and also, I just cut down um, a huge cowpea plant, and I have tons of weeds. I've been weed whacking every day. I have these two additional buckets that I bought. I'm gonna fill these up to the top with weeds and some more chicken compost and some cow pea plant. I'm gonna fill these up with water, put a date on it, put um, October, what is it, October 3rd? I'm gonna put the date on it and, or whatever date I finally do it, I'm gonna put the date on it, give it another six weeks because I think I like how intense this is, how rich this is, you know, plus it, 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 it will go a, a further way. So that's my plan. You know, this is what I'm gonna be using as fertilizer, compost tea, as well as a chicken manure. Um, but this will go a long way and be readily available to the plants. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope this encouraged you that you too can go out and make your own compost tea. Till next time, bye now.